My name is Pierre Dargent. I'm full professor at the University of Louvain in Belgium. I am also a member of the Institut de Droit International, also a member of the Brussels Bar, and I'm affiliated to an American uh, law firm called Foley Roac, and we regularly appear before international courts and tribunals. And about 10 years ago, I served as first secretary of the International Court of Justice in The Hague. My course is uh, written in French and it is called Les Obligations Internationales, so International Obligations. The focus of my course is really uh, what I call international obligations. So uh, for many, many years, international lawyers have studied the sources of international law, the subjects of international law, the interpretation of rules produced by the sources of international law. And my focus is on international obligations, what ought to be done. Those rules produced by sources resulting from sources processes, those rules contain obligations. And those obligations, I claim, are the core matter of the law. This is what makes law a topic of interest for making claims. Well, my course, I think, is particularly relevant today because fundamentally, I think, the life of international law is about making claims. This is what international law lawyers do. And when I say international lawyers, I mean practicing international lawyers. This is what diplomats do. This is what attorneys in law firms do. This is what judges hear. They hear claims. Those claims are articulated and the way you can articulate your claims very much depends on the regime of the international obligations on which you base your claim. So understanding clearly the fundamental structure of international obligations helps not only litigators to make their claims, but also politicians helps also or should help uh, diplomats when they negotiate treaties, because they will be navigating within that, those possibilities, if you wish. One case that I play with or that I bring to light is uh, a, a case in which I'm involved. It's the Gambia versus Myanmar case. I'm acting as counsel to the Gambia in the genocide case uh, against Myanmar, uh, the Rohingya genocide case. And of course, that case as you know, relates to erga omnes partes obligations. And I discuss very much the external modalities. Uh, how is it possible and under which condition and what does it mean to be able to claim responsibility if you are not an injured state? 